Ottawa is no longer the sleepy capital city it once was. There's a buzz of activity in this growing, vibrant city. And with the vibrancy comes something else, rising living costs. These days, it seems like every time you turn around, the prices of goods and services are on the rise. And residents need to tighten their budgets as necessities become increasingly pricey. Grocery bills are going up. Rent or mortgage costs are taking a bigger chunk of your monthly expenses. But fear not. Many experts say that although the cost of living may have risen in Ottawa, it's still more affordable than other major cities in North America. In this video, we're going to be covering and shed some light on the costing and affordability across this great city. But before we get into it, showreel, hit it! Hey everyone, this is Pierre Tuan, living in Ottawa. And if this is your first time to the channel, you won't learn everything about what it's like to work, sleep, play, and live in Ottawa. Well, make sure to tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified each and every time we do a brand new video. We actually get so many people that reach out to us that are curious about moving to Ottawa and selling from where they are and buying in Ottawa, and we absolutely love helping them on their journey. So if you have questions about the market and you're thinking about making a move, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, because we got your back. We're moving to Ottawa. If you've ever been to Ottawa, Ontario, then you know that it's a great place with a thriving job market and some of the best attractions in Canada. What used to be one of the more affordable cities is now rapidly transforming into a rising star in terms of quality of living. For those looking to make Ottawa their home, it's important to understand it's changing nature before they dive head first into this particular city. Over the past year or so, we've seen changes in the cost of living all over the world. And the pandemic brought us many things, and one of them was inflation. And families are paying more today for housing, energy, food than they were a year ago. And inflation is nothing new. We've seen prices creep up since the dawn of currency. Nothing costs what it did in the 50s, 60s, 70s. But big surges in inflation have been largely absent for decades. And the changes we've seen in the past year have been fairly dramatic compared to the slow creep of the past 30 years. And no one likes this kind of change, but it's important to know how much it costs to live. Not just living in Ottawa, but all over Canada. And it's also important to remember that sources will disagree as to the objective of cost of living. Often this is the result of using different units of measurement. One source may tell you the overall cost of food monthly for a family of four. Another may break it down and tell you how much a pound of ground beef costs back in November 2022. We're going to look at the cost of living in Ottawa at the end of 2022. Be wary of calculators or articles without dates. You could be looking at old numbers. So no one moving to Ottawa wants that sort of unpleasant surprise. The cost of living fluctuates all the time. So we're going to talk about averages and basics. For a family of four living in a house, the cost of living in Ottawa in October of 2022 was about 7,462 per month. For a single person living in a two-bedroom apartment, that number was about 2,775 per month. The cost of living will vary based on location throughout the city, and the largest variable is housing. The Ottawa housing market has seen record growth since the onset of the pandemic. In May 2020, the average home prices in Ottawa was $528,000, including both detached homes and condos. And in December of 2022, that figure had risen to over $637,000. The average price of Ottawa detached home in 2020 was $548,000, with the the average condo coming in at $342,000. According to the Ottawa Real Estate Board, the November 2022 price for a detached home was about $680,000 and for a condominium it was $415,000. 500. That 24% increase for detached homes and 21% increase for condos reflects the soaring demand and dwindling supply we saw across the Canadian real estate market through most of the pandemic. For example, 
the 2022 median home value in Manor Park South was just over $351,000. That's 42% less than the Ottawa overall average. And median home value in Lassiter Terrace was $260,000, $800. That's 57% lower than the Ottawa overall. And the cost of goods and services also changes depending on the neighborhood. For example, a homeowner in Rockcliffe Park can expect about a 62% higher cost of living than most auto ones, with the highest cost of living in the city. And if you want to live in the Glebe, prepare for a 19% higher cost of living for the city overall. And renters have also been price increases over the past two years. The average three bedroom apartment has gone from about $2,100 per month to $2,200. And for two bedrooms, the cost has risen from $1,900 to $2,000. And for a one bedroom unit, it's risen from around $1,600 to a little over $1,700. And these rental prices may seem high jumps in a short amount of time, but they are actually 28% lower than Toronto and over 34% lower than Vancouver. Hey, if this video is bringing you any value, you and helping you in any way, please help us by clicking that like button to tell the YouTube algorithm that we're doing a good job. Housing makes up a large percentage of anyone's cost of living and an unavoidable addition base housing cost is utilities. Electricity, heat, and water are all part of the standard utility bill. In a 915 square foot apartment, the average utility bill in 2022 was about $163. And the internet added an additional $80 on average. And your bills are going to depend on the size of your home and what types of energy you use and how much energy you use. When inflation is running high, many families try to cut back by turning down the thermostat by a degree or two or making sure that the lights are turned off. Even taking shorter showers can lower your bill by a dollar or two. And some people living in Ottawa have an alternate energy sources like solar panels. And others have well and septic systems which affect their costs. Your bills depend on many factors, some of which you control and others that vary by the neighborhood. Transportation costs include everything from a tank of gas to a monthly transit pass. At the end of 2022, gas in Ottawa was running a little over $7 per gallon. That's $1.85 per litre. And that's compared to well under the $1 per litre in the spring of 2020, at the very beginning of the pandemic. And we all knew that these prices wouldn't last. Because Ottawa is such a large area geographically, a lot of people drive to work and do errands and attend social activities. And there isn't a lot of variation from city to city when it comes to gas prices. Most of the cost of living difference is on how much driving is actually done regularly. But Ottawa also has a decent public transit system. A monthly public transport ticket costs about $125 in Ottawa. And that's a pretty good deal compared to Toronto's $156. The HST in Ottawa remains at 13% and the higher cost of goods being taxed has raised about total amount of Ottawans and all Canadians paying overall sales tax. And a fairly major expense is for most families is groceries. Ottawa is fortunate to have an abundance of grocery stores including specialty markets. And prices will depend on where you shop. An average family of four spends about a thousand dollars a month on groceries. And what about fun? Entertainment in Ottawa is pretty reasonable and there are many free activities throughout the city. A movie can cost you $15, the same as Toronto but $2 less than in Vancouver. And a cocktail downtown is about $12 and dinner for two at a pub will run you about $60 without the drinks. It's important to look at the cost of living in Ottawa in comparison to other major Canadian cities. We've seen the apartment rentals cost less than Toronto or Vancouver. And what about other costs? The average home in the greater Toronto area costs over 1 million in November of 2022. And in Vancouver, buyers spent an average of a little over 1.1 million. In Montreal, homes sold for an average of $560,000. In comparison, Ottawa's average home was $637,000 in late 2022. In general, Ottawa's cost of living is lower than Canada's other large cities. According to calculations from WOWA, including only housing, groceries, transportation, and childcare, an Ottawa family of four had a cost of living in Ottawa 2022 of $7,462. In Toronto, that same family would expect to pay $8,484. And in Vancouver, that cost would have been $8,928. And in Calgary, the cost would have been 6,910.
You can see that those average home prices impact the cost of living as much as you would expect. Your dollar goes further in Ottawa than in a lot of other areas, with lower restaurants at by 9.6%, or groceries are actually less by 9.4% prices than Toronto. And you'll pay 5.8% less at Ottawa restaurants and 13% less for groceries than you would in Vancouver. And Ottawa is a very livable city in every aspect, from cost of living to quality of life. It ranks among the world's best cities, and the cost of living has gone up everywhere since the pandemic. And the same is true when living in Ottawa. One of the reasons Ottawa remains one of the top places to live in the world is that it offers its citizens excellent quality of life, safety and security, high education and career opportunities. So if you're looking for a city where your money will stretch further than usual, look no further than moving to our spectacular capital city. And speaking about relocating, if you're thinking about making a move, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even wrap it up in a bow and send it first class because we got your back. We're moving to Ottawa or anywhere across Canada. And each and every week we're bringing brand new videos just like this one. So make sure to tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified each and every time we do a brand new video. Till next time, take care.